Well, hey there. Uh, I just like to go over some of the books that I picked up early this week that I mentioned. Um, and uh, today's Saturday, by the way, and I'm going to be heading out to see uh, Justice League. And uh, if you happen to have Stardust, uh, you can check out my uh, review of that film um, later on. Anyways, uh, the first book is uh, Future Quest Galaxy Trio. Um, it's quite good. It actually picks up on something that happened in the original Future Quest. Uh, if you remember that, uh, that 12 issue uh, storyline, um, where in which the Galaxy Trio uh, see, uh, is apparently destroyed by Omicron. Um, and anyways, this picks up uh, beforehand. Uh, it gives you a brief look at their their uh, their origin and what they did um, initially. Uh, in some ways, they were more like the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. They weren't really good guys. But uh, anyways, I don't want to give much away. But it's a lot of fun if you if you enjoy the characters back in the day. If you just like a good, you know, science fictiony. Uh, punch up. Um, it's a lot of fun, and uh, it's going to be continued. At least uh, I guess uh, one or two more issues, and uh, we'll see what happens then. I liked it. Uh, okay, this latest um, Doc Knight's um, uh, Batman Who Laughs. It's exactly who everyone thought it was. It was a combination of the Joker and uh, Batman in that dark universe and uh, what happens uh, what he does to his, uh, his fellow heroes and uh, well, how he becomes who he is and uh, why he does what he does uh, in his own bizarre Joker-esque logic um, it's not bad it's, it's not uh, not great but not not bad um, and uh, this is going to go, be, this can be going to metal number four, I think. And then a book called The Hunt, which I'm guessing is another tie-in. Um, so anyways, uh, like I said, not, not great, not bad, but if you're, if you're reading metals, um, or metal, uh, check it out. Uh, these, they, they've all been at least decent, uh, if not great. Uh, Winona Earp, uh, if you're a fan of the TV show, uh, then you really should be picking this up. Um, some of the characters are familiar, um, some are new, uh, they're only in the, in the comic, um, but um, it's a lot of fun. Um, anyway, uh, check it out, uh, Bo Smith does a, does a great job, uh, the characters... Uh, are recognizable uh, from uh, from the TV show, which uh, makes things easier. And the dialogue is great, uh, much as it is in, in the TV show. And anyways, uh, check it out. All your favorites are there. You know, Doc's there. Um, Wynonna's there. His sister's there. And uh, even uh, uh, Smitty, who looks remarkably like uh, a comic book writer and who even made an appearance on the TV show in the last season. That's why Nona, Nona Earp, one of my favorite current series. I got this a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned it. This is House of the uh, DC House of Horror. Um, creepy stories uh, featuring um, some of the uh, best known uh, DC characters and looking at them in a different, uh, a different way. Uh, some of the stories aren't even really um, superhero stories. They're sort of dark looks at, like, what if. Um, the one with uh, Wonder Woman, uh, especially uh, Haunting, and uh, the one featuring... Uh, uh, the Superman is uh, a different look. Things might have not gone as well for the Kents as uh, uh, as it did um, in the world that we know. Uh, anyways, uh, 
everyone's there, you know, uh, Green Arrow, uh, Batman, Superman, uh, Wonder Woman. And naturally, uh, because she's so popular, um, we get to see um, Holly Quinn, or at least a kind of a Holly Quinn. Um, uh, it's pretty good. Like I said, uh, that's, they're different takes, uh, pretty uh, scary, uh, a little on the graphic side, so be warned, this is not kid-friendly at all. Uh, but I liked it. Um, check it out. Um, finally got to The Hunger, uh, number one, which is now a uh, uh, continuing series from Archie, or the, their Archie Madhouse imprint, which also does the uh, Saprina and Afterlife from Archie uh, series. Um, hoping Afterlife from Archie uh, comes back. I was really enjoying that. Uh, Sabrina's okay. Uh, not great. Uh, good, good enough to keep me intrigued. But anyways, in The Hunger, um, again, it's a, it's a supernatural um, a take on the characters, <clears throat> but uh, it's not, it's, it doesn't take place in the same uh, universe as um, Afterlife. Um, characters are different, just like in, in, in Sabrina. Uh, um, so even though these characters uh, appear in uh, Afterlife, these are different takes. Uh, still supernatural and scary. Again, uh, pretty gory, definitely not uh, safe for kids. Uh, older teens, maybe. Um, anyways, I actually I feel sympathy uh, for Jughead because he really doesn't want to do um, what he's doing and uh, obviously uh, something happened um, in, in this particular story and uh, I think what the, the, the moral of this one is uh, don't befriend that, uh, that kid in the, in the beanie cap and finally um, Guardians of the Galaxy this is uh, 147 of the Legacy series Infinity Quest, exactly what we thought, uh, does indeed involve a uh, Infinity Stone, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, I, I'm picking up just about all the Guardians series, and uh, pretty much all the Marvel, uh, the only Marvel titles I'm currently picking up. Uh, anyways, that's it. Um, hope to be reading some more stuff. And as I say, keep an eye on uh, Stardust, uh, which I'll probably link in, uh, in my Twitter account. Um, and I, what I have to say about uh, Justice League or any other uh, movie I happen to see today, if I decide to take in more than one. Anyways, uh, take care and uh, peace out.